Housing is, is a national crisis and it's been a national crisis which has been worsening each year for the last 25, 35 years. The talk was effectively about the housing crisis here, the housing crisis in New York, but of course opening up the discussion beyond London to demonstrate that this is a British crisis, not just a London crisis. You consider 250, 300,000 more people are living in Britain every year. That's a new town, a major new city arriving in Britain every year. And I think there are some fairly straightforward things that could be done and that really need to be done. The first is to densify housing provision by building on brownfield sites and gap sites uh, rather than building in the green belt, which I think should be protected. And you could build all of London's provision for the next 10 years if you were to build you know, on brownfield sites in London. I think the second thing that needs to be recognised is that if you can build more affordable homes, that's going to make a significant difference to the whole issue of rent subsidies, which cost this country £25 billion a year. And those savings be transferred to building houses. I think the other thing is that we need to look at innovative ways, different forms of housing, micro-housing, different sizes of units, different trusts, co-housing opportunities, all sorts of different ways in which housing can be provided. And lastly, I think we need to ensure that local authorities are able to borrow and build more housing on land which they own, which lies empty. Now, those range of measures, if pursued vigorously, can resolve the problem. But as I said last night, you can no longer sort of tinker with the issue. It needs to be led, there needs to be accountability in that leadership, and that has to come from government. Housing is a human right. Too many people can't afford to buy a house or rent any accommodation. It's a number one priority. John put forward uh, ten different approaches to solving what seems to be an intractable problem. He wants government involvement, prioritizing the issue. And I believe that um, he's right. Um, but really and seriously, it needs cross-party, cross-discipline, uh, cross-generational energies brought together in order to solve this problem.